Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode number 105. Hey guys, welcome back. It's actually kind of late at night here. It is about 10.35 at night. Um, to, it's been a rough few days with Jesse. He's been acting out kind of, so we're, we're dealing with that. And uh, today was an exceptionally rough day, <laughs> parenting-wise. So he is in bed, and I'm staying up and just, like, chilling for a little while uh, without him. <laughs> so I thought I'd go ahead and record since I haven't had a chance to record the rest of this week. But I do have some finished objects to share with you guys and a couple whips. And I got my knit crate, so I thought I'd show it on here. Because I already put on a knit crate video, but for people who don't watch that, they can see it here. <laughs> and then I also got the giveaway winner from uh, the other day. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so let's um, start with my finished objects. <laughs> First, I did finish some more um, of the daffodils. This one doesn't have its ends woven in. But this is a free pattern by Miss Nist Designs. And it'll be linked below for the written instructions. I, I was also given permission to make a video tutorial. And it's on my channel here. I just made it uh, last week. And I'll link it below too if you're interested. But this is one that I finished yesterday. Maybe today. <laughs> it's uh, Karen 1 Pound White and Red Heart Super Saver Pale Yellow. I gotta weave in the ends. And then I did finish one that looks like this, these colors, which is Red Heart Super Saver Bright Yellow and Pumpkin for the tutorial is when I made this one. I don't know if it was actually this one because they're all in a bag. I'm keeping them all in my cardinal bag. So there's, uh, I think I have 20 in there and then this one. And then I did actually start today making some of the little inside part of the petals to, uh, there's some more. I made four. <laughs> to start making more flowers. I was just going to make a bunch of these and I was going to do the petals. So that's, I guess, a whip. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I got to weave that one's end's end. And then I can stick it in this bag for the festival that's coming up in on March 21st. I want to make, my goal is like to have 50 of them. So I'm just going to keep making them randomly. And um, try to get at least 50. But then, you know, if I make more than that, great. <laughs> But yeah, so that's my first finished objects. I did make two <laughs> daffodils and I'm working on some other ones. I just gotta weave that one in. I need to do that. And my next finished object, I made three of these. And they're all kind of slightly different. <laughs> but this is a free pattern by Old Soul Crochet. Uh, her name's Valerie. But it's called Chubby Bunny. <laughs> and I made it with a Mary Maxim yarn that I got out of a... What is it called? A yarn carousel that I did sometime last year. Um, I can't even remember who hosted it. I did a couple last year. But uh, it's like a velvet yarn. But it's from Mary Maxim. And I don't even know what it was called. I think I have the ball band but I don't know where it's at. So I had two balls of it. So I made this one. And then this one. It turned out slightly bigger even though I used the same hook. I guess my tension was just different. So them two. And then this one. <laughs> so I made three of them all together. And the the eyes is Red Heart Super Saver Black and what the little people-y little glitz. What are, what are those called? <laughs> the white of the eye part. Uh, yeah, they're super cute. Really easy. I made them all on the same day. <laughs> so, um, and I almost used up all this yarn. I still have a little ball left that I gotta figure out what to do with. That's the reason I was making these. I, I'm trying to use up all that weird yarn still that's in my um, bookshelf. And this was one of those that was stuck in there. I had two balls of it. So I made three little bunnies. And these, I'm thinking about putting some amigurumis on my Etsy shop to try to sell. But um, if they don't sell there, I'm going to go to some craft fair this year. I was going to do one in April, but it always gets rained out. So I don't even think I'm going to, um, it's an outdoor one. I don't even think I'm going to worry about trying to reserve a booth since it, every year without fail, it gets rained out. So they end up moving it and then usually it gets rained out again and then when they move it again it like doesn't do that good because people already lost interest so I don't think I'm going to do that one but um the one that I did last year was in October and they do that every year so I'm thinking about doing that again this year so uh I'm just going to work on amigurumis between now and then and have a whole bunch of them saved up for that craft fair so I might put some of these in my Etsy shop soon mm -hmm. that scared me <laughs> and then 
if there uh, are any left, I will take them to the craft fair with me. Okay, my last finished object is the other granny shawl that I was working on. This isn't an actual pattern, it's just a granny stitch, but there are tons of patterns out there and tutorials even for granny shawls. Just look it up in Google or Ravelry or even, you know, YouTube. <laughs> just granny shawl is all it is. And I made this with a Karen um, big cake that I was gifted. That's kind of big. Last time I showed it, I was right here. So I, I finished it that much. <laughs> and I used every single bit of the cake. Like, I just barely had enough to weave in the end. It's kind of smaller than I thought it was going to turn out. It's still a good size shawl. But it just seems... I, I thought that it was going to go further because it was a Karen Big Cake. I found the ball band. And I think it goes to this one because I've never had a Karen Big Cake. So I'm assuming. But when someone else the other day told me the colorway of this. And it was a different color. They said it was... Something. That I forgot. <laughs> but this one says that it is... Uh, what was it? Tiramisu. But the other person told me something else. So I don't know if this one was ball banded wrong. Because when I got it gifted to me, I remember the, the label was torn. So, I don't know. But it's Carabay Cake. <laughs> Which is, how many edges in it? I think it was like 500 and something. What am I looking for? 603 yards. So this is 603 yard shawl. <laughs> it seems awful small to me, but I'm just used to big shawls. And uh, the purpose of these granny shawls that I'm making are to be donated to a local nursing home. So I know that there are some really tiny little old, older ladies out there. So I'm sure one of them will love this. So yeah, I can take my stitch marker off now. Since I showed you. <laughs> and uh, this is the first one that I'm finished for it. Uh, the first one I finished this year is mine. <laughs> I'm keeping it. So um, I did pull out some more yarn to start another one of those, but I haven't actually started it yet. But I'll show you the yarn. It is another Yarn Bee cake, Sugar Roll. Yarn Bee Sugar Roll, and it's called Have It Sorbet. These are the colors. Uh, I think I have three of this color, and I got them on the clearance sale that they do usually around May every year at Hobby Lobby. And uh, my big giant green and purple one I made myself was three cakes, almost three whole cakes. So um, I'm just going to probably do all three cakes because I'm trying to use up the cakes. And then I'm also trying to make shells to donate to the nursing home. So uh, two birds, one stone or whatever. <laughs> okay, that, so that's all of the finished objects. Uh, my whips were the daffodils, which I already kind of showed you. It's just these little inside parts. <laughs> and the granny shawl hasn't started yet. My only other active whip right now, I printed it out because <laughs> it's big. It is called the Sea Breeze Cover Up, and the person it's by is called by katrina.com. But it'll be linked below if you're interested. And I'm using a cotton cake that I was gifted. It's a Nicole Stitch, a Stitch Studio by Nicole Cotton Colors. I, I, did, I wasn't gifted it, I won it uh, early last year from Cinnamon Stitches. She had a giveaway for some reason. I can't remember now. And um, this was in it. And I won that giveaway. From her. It's a dark blue. And then it goes into a pretty light, lighter blue and purple. It's really blown out because it's dark outside. So I don't have good lighting. <laughs> I kind of, it's kind of what it looks like. Or that's that right there is more true to color. <laughs> but yeah. I just barely got started on it. Because it took me forever to uh, get the chain right. <laughs> I hate projects where you have to chain a lot and this one I had to chain 200 <laughs> and then work into that chain so and it's a beach cover up like you put over a bathing suit I'll pop up a picture of what it's supposed to look like I'm making it in the large size because I'm hoping by summer I'll be a size large <laughs> so um, yeah that's all I got so far is the yolk and it's purple it just doesn't look purple on the screen but yeah, so that's super thin yarn. It's like, a, it's a fine weight. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy working on it at all, but I'm going to try. <laughs> it's living in the first ever zipper bag ever made. <laughs> it's got cats on it. This is a really um, shabby bag. It's not all the way sewn in some spots, but it's still usable, so I use it. So that's all my finished objects and my whips. Uh, the 
only acquisitions I have this week is I bought a bunch of fabric, but it's already, you can kind of see it, ugh, it's backwards, right there, <laughs> stacked up. I was cutting a lot of it today, so it's already all cut up, so I don't want to bring it in here and mix it all up. So, tomorrow I'm actually planning on starting the new Notion pouches for the shop. Um, I always like to do them first to get them out of the way because those are my least favorite part of making bags, is the zipper bags. So, um, I gotta go to get some more interfacing tomorrow and some more string for the drawstrings. And then I can start working on the Notion pouches and then the project bags. And the next project, or the next shop update, which will hopefully be next week sometime. Um, maybe like around Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Some of them are going to be big and some of them are going to be the size I always make. And some of them are going to be smaller, like little amigurumi bags or sock bags or like a hat or something small that you would put stuff in. And then my other acquisition is just my knit crepe, which I did make a video for. But if you didn't see it, I got the cool colorway or whatever <laughs> it's called sky and it's got different shades of blues and some purple there's some purple but you can't really tell it's purple because of the lighting <laughs> but yeah it is the the creative grandma where she worked with them dotting wools and the colorway is sky it is a dk weight i think there we go it's dk weight <laughs> i really like this colorway i'm planning on making myself a lacy shawl with it to wear maybe around Easter if I can find something that matches it. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Alright, that was, that was a pretty quick episode. The only other thing I got to do is the winner for the other Knit Crate yarn. <laughs> this one. It's the blush color. That I uh, put up as a giveaway on the last video. It is Vitalana by Knit Crate. And it is worsted and it's called Dawn Blush. So there's two hanks of that and it comes to how many yardage? 402 yards. So the winner for that I already got on my phone. Let me pull it up. The winner is Marcy Makes. Right there is what she said. So Marcy, <laughs> uh, when you see this video, uh, shoot me an email. My email will pop up on the screen and it's also always in the description box below. Uh, let me know what your mailing address is and I will send it out to you as soon as I get your email. Well, you know, around that time. <laughs> Depending on when you send your email. But I'm, I'm usually pretty fast at sending out mail because I know when I order stuff from like from my Etsy shop. That's not a real tattoo, by the way. That's one of those water ones. <laughs> I mean, just was playing with some. But, um, what was that thing? Like when I order stuff, I want it to be shipped as soon as possible. So that's why when I get Etsy sales, I always try to ship next day if I can because uh, that's how I wish people would do for me. <laughs> so congratulations, Marcy. And yeah, so I'm gonna do another giveaway. <laughs> I keep doing giveaways because like I said a thousand times, I'm trying to de-stash and just clear out my house a little bit <laughs> um, and just get clutter out of the way. And yeah, so then this week is not gonna be a knit crate. I've been trying to give away all the knit crate that I have piled up and never using. This week is gonna be some yarn that I was gifted and the person who gifted it to me said that I can keep it or give it away. So I'm gonna give this one away. And um, I'm going to show it to you and then I'm going to try to read it because it's in a bag. <laughs> but it's it's three um, balls of Lime Brand Heartland. It's a pretty green color. I'm going to open it so that you can see it. Okay, it's a pretty green color. I can't get it to come out the green that it is. It's kind of like that. <laughs> it's not super bright. It's a really pretty green color. And it's, um, you know, it's, it's four ply. But some of the, it's... What am I trying to say? It's not solid color. It's got another color mixed in there. It's not variegated, but it's just it's different. <laughs> Let's see here. It is uh, 251 yards each, so that's three of them. And 100% acrylic. I think it's a four. Yeah, it's a size four. So you can get um, four of these. What's the colorway? Oh gosh. Guadalupe Mountains. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. So if you would like to try to win those three balls of yarn, uh, comment below and in your comment use the word mountain. <laughs> you don't have to use the other one because that's, uh, you know, I would never be able to spell that without looking at it. <laughs> so, but you can just use the word mountain and in the next No Catch Name episode I will do a random draw and pick out a winner. So yeah. Also don't mention giveaway in your comment because I'm trying to keep these giveaways to where only the people who actually watch me can win them and not just random people. 
also you do have to be 18 or older uh, to win so that you can give me your address legally <laughs> uh, if you're outside the United States and if you win uh, and there's any duties or taxes or anything like that you're responsible for that the only thing I'm responsible for is the shipping fees originally where I send it from my post office to your area uh, it's not affiliated with anybody but myself, blah, 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 all that usual stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here. I know this is a quick episode, and normally I say that and it's like an hour long, but I just haven't been working much on crochet stuff. I have designed a new pattern. It's actually set in back there. You just can't see it. Um, an Easter pattern, and I have four more floating around my head that I want to try to get out before uh, early March. So keep an eye out on the Facebook group for that, because I usually announce uh, on there when I release new patterns and all that first and yeah so I guess I'll see you guys in the next video I don't know what it will be <laughs> and, or when it will be because life is crazy right now <laughs> and, and I'm trying to deal I don't know if this is going to sound bad or not a lot of y'all know that I have another YouTube channel and it's about life stuff and you can check it out in the description if you're interested uh, it's called No Kitchen Name Life <laughs> and um, I'm focusing a lot on my health right now and my husband and my son's health and changing our whole lifestyle pretty much and right now that's more important to me than the crochet part of my life so I'm focusing more on that part no kitchen lame name life <laughs> than crochet uh, I'm still crocheting and I'm still designing and all that like I said and I'm still making project bags I'm just I've kind of slacked off a little bit because uh, there's more things that's important to me right now and that's our health and uh, I'm on a weight loss journey trying to lose some weight I've lost 20 pounds uh, a little over 20 pounds and I still got quite a few more pounds to lose but uh, I'm just trying to focus on us and health and our finances and all that kind of stuff and then uh, I'll hopefully catch back up and start doing more stuff on this channel uh, but like I said I am designing patterns and I do have every intention to make some more tutorials it's just <laughs> every time I get ready to film a tutorial it's like a gloomy horrible day and I don't have any like professional lighting so I have to rely on mother nature to uh, provide good lighting for tutorials so um, I want her to make one for my jar cozy the uh, leprechaun one I just haven't had a day to do it so maybe this weekend I can get that in but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys